Good evening, good evening, and I am Kangastan. I'm going to be playing Gizmos and Gadgets, or at least trying to again. Uh, a few months ago, I, uh, about four, almost over three, almost four months ago, uh, I did a complete playthrough of this and really enjoyed it, but didn't realize at the time, being a beginner to streaming, that uh, my streams disappeared, so wanted to record those and archive them for YouTube, so we'll try it again. There are a couple of things I do differently as well. So I'm going to load it up. One moment. Alright, there we go. So, this is Gizmos and Gadgets. It's an edutainment game from 1993 from The Learning Company. And I'm actually going to reboot it because uh, I want to get that intro going. So, here we go. Get that more, more centered there. There we go. Learning Company presents Gizmos and Gadgets, a Super Solvers science adventure. We'll get a little bit of an intro here. Morty Maxwell, the master of mischief, has moved into the Shady Glen Technology Center and taken over as head scientist. Your job is to accept Morty's challenge and prove that you are a better scientist than he is. Morty has locked the doors in the warehouse with science puzzles. Show him how much you know about science by solving the puzzles. Then go through the doors, find the best vehicle parts, and build faster vehicles than Morty builds. To make your job more difficult, Morty's sneaky cyber chimps are collecting vehicle parts too. Outsmart the chips by throwing bananas to them and making them take a nap. Race against Morty and win all 15 of the challenge races. You will reclaim the technology center and be the head scientist. There's a little... There's Morty himself to his dastardly ways. So this came out after a couple of earlier and kind of primitive um, Super Solvers games. They're all edutainment with um, various platforming elements and puzzles. And this is the one that I grew up with. It came with our uh, our first family computer as an all-in-one package. With this and Load Runner that I recently played on my Let's Play channel on YouTube. Um, Incarta, basically shovelware stuff that was thrown in at the time. And there is uh, us as the super solver. Now, one quick thing is that is not the intro that I remember because I actually had the uh, Windows, Windows 3.1 version. So I am going to play that for you here if I can get this working right. It's basically the same, but it came out shortly after. I can turn that down here. Um, came out shortly after the DOS version and had a little bit of a treat. So. <laughs> you barrel of mechanical monkeys! We are now floating over the Shady Glen Technology Center, ready to begin more mischief-making. I am preparing to take over as head scientist here, so I can be in charge of all of the research about science that goes on. I don't want anyone getting any smarter than me, so I'm stopping all other research. My spies tell me that one of those pesky super solvers has gotten wind of my plan and is on the way to challenge me to a scientific duel of wits to win the position of head scientist. Ha! Now here's my plan. I've set up 15 different races that the Super Solver will have to win before outsmarting me. But before we race, 
The Super Solver will have to find the parts to build faster vehicles than mine. I've hidden the parts in the warehouses, and the science puzzles that I use to lock the doors will make things trickier. <laughs> Just to make things even more challenging, I want you cyber chimps... Hey, wake up there! I want you cyber chimps to roam around looking for the best parts for me and try to steal the parts that the super solvers picked up as well. Just stay away from those bananas. I don't want you guys sleeping on the job. Now, let's go. So, well, that's basically the deal. Let me turn this back up. Yeah, so that's basically the deal. Um, it's more or less uh, the same story. But, you know, get a little bit more flavor when you see Morty there. So, I'm going to log in. And I am... Yeah, stop. We're gonna start the game. Uh, you can play Gizmo's Gadgets with Morty's Cyber Chimps or without them. When the chimps are in the warehouse with you, they will try to take your vehicle parts. How do you want to play? With chimps, definitely. I know what's. All right, so this is the technology center. And basically, how it works is there are what, five levels in each of these departments. And you can do them in any order you want. And after you finish one, you can move to the other. And you know, and I always do automotive first, just force a habit. That's how I started as a kid, because I was most interested in cars. And how it works is, yeah, I'll explain it. Basically, you have these blueprints, and you have to collect uh, parts that you put together and then race over here on the racetrack. And all of these parts have different tiers. Uh, and I'm going to try to get the best parts possible for each race. Last time I streamed this, I wasn't quite able to. There were a couple that I had to get the second best, but we'll do our best. Um, so we're going to get, so I know what the best parts are. self lubricating machines, brakes, fiberglass body shaped like a rocket, paint and decal. I'll also try to um, get matching paint, at least within the vehicles. So let's... Uh, all right so then we go into the warehouse all right so yeah we navigate the warehouse I'll work on my audio here navigate the warehouse and try to collect all these little yellow and orange boxes which are our parts banana control to sprint and there's basically no reason to not be sprinting everywhere put a buddy with a long slope that's that's garbage uh, first thing i usually do is just check out if there's anything available on the ground floor there isn't but directly above us there is there are quite a few parts up there um yeah so we'll just uh, move right along Yep, and we need to solve puzzles, and this is where we kind of start getting into the meat of the game. You have a bunch of puzzles, and they come into a few different categories. These ones are pretty easy. You just have to make this shape with uh, whatever magnets you have available. All right, and we got plenty of parts here. Brakes, good, we need those. Brakes, okay. That's fiberglass body. Okay, so... Again, we can junk them. Um, I like to do that just to keep track of you know, what I have. Uh, and we don't need extra breaks because uh, recycled parts will show back up in the factory or in the warehouse as red boxes. And since I'm right next to the entrance here, I'm actually going to drop the fiberglass body off just so I, just in case I get hit by a chimp. And you can just drop it right down here. Um, yeah, and so parts that you put down here on the warehouse floor where you're kind of building your car can't get stolen by chimps. So that's uh, a real big deal. <laughs> um, 
basically there's cyber chimps patrol around trying to if they run they don't really actively seek after you but if they do bump into you just through their perambulations they'll um, they'll steal a part at random they usually steal a part at random and uh you sometimes can get it back, you sometimes cannot. So that's a real bummer. And, all right, here's another part where it's a puzzle where you put together these three pieces. And this is a nail. All right, quite a few parts right here. A decoration. Oh yeah, there's de decals as well as paint to decorate. Blue paint or yellow paint. Um, I was kind of hoping for green, but you can do with either of those. I think the yellow paint we can toss. It looks pretty bad. Red paint looks worse. <laughs> I guess we'll go with blue. We already have a good body. What we need now are wheels with self-lubricating bushings. Uh, this is another puzzle, and it looks like it is a seesaw. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, uh, since there's three buildings, last time I completed the game um, in two streams, one I got kind of tired at the end of. It's not particularly a long game, but if you're trying to get you know all the best parts and you refuse to quit uh it can take a while so i'm gonna think i'm gonna break this up and just do one short stream for each of the departments more bananas there we go those are what we need so you come down here and you can press space bar to throw a banana Oop, throw a banana that'll knock them out and sometimes give you a part Uh, here's the other one. These are actually my favorite as a kid is using the different parts. This one's pretty simple, but using the parts you have to make a circuit. All right, and we have all the parts we need for the first race, so let's get going. And I think we will go with blue. So we've got the body, got the brakes. We need metal bushings. No, we need self-lubricating bushings. Those are the best wheels you can get here. Let's do the pinstripe decal with the red paint. That's really bright. And blue paint looks alright. Let's do that. And then you have this little animation. And of course we're going to win because we're the best. Thanks. And so there we go. We ranked up to assistant. And uh, score, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, basically, your score increases whenever you win a race. It increases by like 5,000 or something. But you also get some points for completing uh, puzzles in the technology center. And we're just going to move on to the next level. It should be a slightly more complicated car. Oh, yeah. So we still have tires, but they change. So now we're looking for 5-inch wide tires. It'll, it'll tell you if you click on the blueprint. Like if I click on tire explains what the tires are for and why they're be some are better than others and then it'll also tell you what the best are so widest tires are five inches wide so we need five inch wide tires ball bearing wheels brakes are just brakes uh, a two to one differential is always the best the body is always the fiberglass body shaped like a rocket gas tank is the same for all of them and then the engine changes for each tier um, and the fastest one we can get is 60 horsepower right now. So, it's a lot to keep track of, but it will get more complicated. So let's uh, get right into it. All right, and then there are a few distinct forms of the warehouse as well. These are the bouncy ones. And uh, if you notice on the right-hand side here, above and below, uh, or just above me, um, and then three above me, there's doors on the right look black, and you can actually go through them to another one of these screens. Um, just because you need more parts, you need more space, so graciously provide that. I'm just going to collect all these parts that are in the overworld. 
start yellow paint. It's not great, but we'll start up here at the top and make our way down. Okay, another simple wire puzzle. Anyway, so yeah, so this game was a real big part of my childhood. I played it a ton. Um, yeah, and which is pretty fortuitous, both this and King's Quest VI, I also got in the same, or we also got in the same bundle. There's some gear puzzles, you just gotta rotate them so they blink at the same time. Um, yeah, but you got this in King's Quest VI, and arguably this is the best Super Soul uh, Learning Company game, and King's Quest is by far the best, or King's Quest VI is by far the best King's Quest game. So I was fortuitous to kind of get those at the best possible moment. We're just going to go back through here and drop down one. No sense in opening up another door that, um, you know, we know there's nothing behind. <laughs> All right, and these are pretty fun. It starts out simple. You don't have many options. You just can choose how much to pull it back. Um, but they do get more, as with everything, they all get more complicated later on. This is quite a, a treat to go back and play. I mean, like I said, I played it once already um, a few months ago. But yeah. I'll, I'm planning on doing more of these edutainment games. I'm not a full-time stream by any means. Um, but there's a few games that I wanted to play in kind of longer formats than just recording uh, via YouTube. So, we'll see. Yeah, get rid of, let's see. We have a wooden body with a box. That's, that's the worst. Fiberglass body is the best. Metal bushing is not great, but let's pop through here. And this is another one where you just have to identify the levers and then check your work. Nice. Um, and since we're here and we're close, I'm just going to pop in and drop off what we have. I think we needed 60 horsepower. Yeah, so we have 50, which is okay, but... We want to go for the best parts, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Three to one is not good enough. We'll toss the three and a half. It's not good enough. Flames is kind of cool, though. And metal bushings is trash. Okay. Alright, let's um, see where there's some openings. Oh, so like I said, so this is uh, the other warehouse that's connected to the one. I just kind of worked through it on the area of the map where you're closer in. Two inches from my bed. Um, and there's actually a trick to it. You see there's doors. I always thought it was so clever on these to just attach the battery directly to the bulb rather than using all the wire. So proud. Um, there's actually a trick to these. See how these doors have unique kind of shapes to them or graphics over the top? There is a pattern. If you notice, so this one I just went through, down and to the left, there's the X door with like a key card, and then beyond that is a screen. If we go through here, look down and to the right here, and there's the X door and the one with the screen next to it. Everything is actually in reverse once you go through. So if you want to get to a particular door, you can work it that way. It's not particularly complicated. We got a blue paint though. Brakes. Uh, I kind of want to go down there because there's a bunch of parts, but there's also one directly above us. I'll go through here. See what we can find. Uh, you can jump over the chimps as well, but it it takes some dexterity. Rather than if you if you don't have enough ban bananas to knock them out, or just want to style on them, whatever. Uh, so I think 
in here we can get a couple. A couple more parts. Oop. There we go. Alright. Right here? Oh, decals. I already like the flame decals. I don't think there's anything they can show us that would be better than that. But, yeah. Flames are going to be better than rainbow. Ooh. Okay, so we've been down there. The door is open. Let's try out over here. Why not? Four. Oops, too far. The basketball is just straight up what number you put in. Why can't I move my three and a half? Huh. Four to one, that's even worse. Okay. We did get a 55 horsepower engine as well. I'm gonna go drop that blue paint off, just to be safe. It's not that big of a deal, but it's nice to have everything matching. Uh, we have the gas tank in there. The bad thing is though, kind of hard to get to what you want. I'm going to dump both of those because they're both terrible. Keep the fiberglass body. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you spray paint and then move the body, um, it'll retain the paint unless you spray paint it with something else. So realistically, you could spray paint it and then ditch uh, the paint. I don't know why you would, but you can't. Two inches wide, those are awful. We need five inch wide tires and bricks. Okay. We still need to find quite a few things. We need one part to get a working vehicle, but that's not good enough. Not nearly good enough. Let's go over here and see what we can see. Basketball into the hole. So we need seven. There we go. Okay. Well, we've actually... I'm pretty sure we've... Yeah, we've been here before. So we need to go up one from here. Oh, we can do that. Beach ball. It doesn't need as much power because it's so light. First try. What do we got? Paint. We don't need any paint. We need some good parts. Let's uh, drop down here. We might have to go back over to the other screen just to see. Let's go in here. Four piece puzzle, those look like teeth. Oh gosh. Some of these, I don't know. That's pretty horrific. <laughs> All right. Uh, nothing there. I don't think we actually went, we dropped down here. I think we just jumped over it. Oh, look at that. A bunch of parts. Great. And that's all we need is bananas. Four wheels, self-lubricating bushings. Better, but they're not ball bearings. 45. Pitiful. I'm going to junk that right now. Just off. Okay. Got to balance the ba balance the scale. 
numbers make it really easy. You just have to multiply it out to, to figure out how much weight you need to add where. All right, gears. The gears always uh, frustrated me as a kid. I played this game well before I probably should have. And I was super into science at the time, so. I guess still am in a way. Let's uh, let's get that one errant box on the on the main over screen. These magnet puzzles they aren't particularly difficult, but they get to be time consuming after a while. Because um, I have to say the magnet magnetic field parser is actually really pretty robust. Um, in that it'll deflect and move the different magnets around depending on different magne magnetic fields. And it can be uh, a bit frustrating. Yeah, we can go here. Because you have to wait for them to um, resolve those issues. All right, and so this is another major one where you got to connect the dots between what energy is being displayed. And this always isn't always obvious. Like, that's light energy, it's also heat energy, you know. Technically, this is chemical energy as well, once you get into those, so just get the best, best match you got. What do we have? Uh, another decal. I mean, it's kind of nice to get rid of everything you don't want. That way, when you see a yellow box, you don't go after it. Um, thinking that it's you know, something that you need. Because if you junk everything, everything just becomes red. Uh, and you are misguided by the promise of, of better parts. All right. So yeah, so we just went through the, the wall here and uh, showed up on the other side. Oop, more gear puzzles. The reason why I kind of hold those on the buttons for longer is it has a tendency to not quite um, detect with that they're being pressed, especially on the DOS version. But that's one other thing I should mention. Um, although I grew up with this on the Windows version, I actually prefer the way the DOS version plays and, and how the music works. Um, but I do like that intro on the on the Windows version. It's also a lot easier to record from DOS than trying to emulate Windows circa 1993 and then record through that. DOS is imminently available. Okay, so we need to get down and to the left and right. This one and on the far right there. Class one lever. Okay. We got a box paint. We don't need any paint. Green paint's nice, but we're already locked into blue. So let's go over here. Let's see what we got. So six on the five, that's 30. So we need 10 on the three. And I think we need to go through here, or is that a mistake? I might have that wrong. Yeah. What I, where did I, where did I, I know I saw a box. It must've been on the next screen over. So that would make it Still got more to uh, to clear out in here. Let's go over here. Uh, over here. No, that's not right. It's tricky to get over those bounce pads. You gotta space. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. More of these. Some of them. Like I said, it's not really difficult 
or challenging. It's just kind of, can be frustrating if you put something in the wrong place early on and you have to pull them all off and redo them. Ah, oh, here's a treasure trove. Don't need any gas tanks because they're all the same. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Eat banana. There you go. Dump the fuel tank. Yeah, grab a fuel tank. We already have the fiberglass body, so we don't need that. And they, um, the chimps will wake up in relatively short order. It takes a little bit, but if you just dawdle around them, they're going to wake up and take your parts immediately. Of course, we, we thought ahead and put our parts away, at least the ones that we cared about, so it didn't really matter that much. So. 60 horsepower engine, that's what we want. Let's drop down real quick, see if I can navigate this area. Oh, that was too far. Dang. So if I do a short hop, I don't think... Oh, I might be able to. There we go. Okay. Still asleep. He'll wake up soon. Though. Let's see. We got metal bushings, ditching. We need self. We already have self lubricating bushings. We don't need those. We need ball bearings. So maybe that one over there is. We also still need one more part. So I need to jump over here and not land on the bouncy pad. See heat energy in the popcorn, chemical energy in the Bunsen burner, flask or whatever, mechanical energy in the pulley. This Bunsen burner would technically be heat and chemical energy. All right, what do we got? Three inches wide. Five inch wide tires. Let's see. I'm gonna take a drink here real quick. Alright. See, he can't get at me here, so. Well, I guess we'll just uh, keep moving right along. The other thing we could do is we could down these guys and see if they have anything useful. This one doesn't. And it's just a wedge. It's just a wedge. <laughs> Easiest puzzle we've got. Now let's drop down. No more parts. Mm -hmm. I wonder where those missing parts are. Oh, there's one. See if we can get at that. So it's right here. Safest place can be. Um, this is a slide, if I believe. Yep, I'm not mistaken. There's the ladder, there's the slide, and sometimes with these it's kind of hard to arrange. Um, just because I didn't really move them with these big clunky bricks in here. But we'll get at it. What do we got? Bananas. Wonderful. So I'm going to drop off that motor and then we'll come back in for the last two parts. Okay, so, we got paint, we got the body, we got the gas tank, we got the 60 horsepower motor. Cheetah, don't care. Self lubricating, we need ball bearings and we need 5 inch wide tires. And what else do we need? Is that all we need? says we're missing a part. Tire. Oh, differential. Because I junked the other difference. So we need the two to one differential. I thought we picked that one up. I guess we tossed both of them. Okay. Running out of rooms here. I guess you could just start 
knocking him out. Let's see, lever. Yeah, nothing here. I'm actually gonna. Oh, escaped. Where are you? Oh no, he ran into me and stole a part I don't care about. Eat banana. Nope. It's red. We don't need it. Because we already threw it away. It's, he's just taking our leftovers. I guess we'll just knock out some more of these puzzles. I would like to move on to the, uh, you know, the other three races, of course, but... I'm not going to give up that early. I don't really call this a completionist playthrough, but I do want to get the uh, as many of the best parts possible. That's just breaks. Them's the breaks. We already have those. Uh, there's no reason to take out that door, because it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, well, let's try this one over here also go up to the top there. A couple of letters. Pulleys. And, oh, hey, there is a box up there, but we were in there, so it must not have been something we wanted. I guess we can check it out anyway. We have the door open to it. That door with the screen down there, we don't need to go through. But this one does lead over to the other uh, warehouse room, so we might as well. Oh, it's paint. Okay. I guess. Uh, technically, a ladder is an incom inclined plane, and so is the slide. Also, I love these, one of these VGA graphics or something like that. It's crazy colors. Especially when there's like a human ele element involved. So you're like coloring body parts, like faces and things in a very vibrant orange or green. It's nice. There you go. Okay, so two red boxes. Wow, we're really getting skunked out. We might not have, not be able to get all the best parts that we have left. I guess just straight down. Let's check out this one. Easy peasy. I might have to go, uh, I might have to go hunt some chimps. See if they've got anything. Yeah, like, you can start to see how, uh, these little magnet puzzles are gonna go. The biggest problem I had is getting to the end here and then not being able to slot the bar magnet in there. like a corner open so it's easier to fit in there. Like so. Nothing here. Ooh, up one and both the two below us have a bunch of parts. We can get those.
first level. The one on the left, which leads to the door to the right, has a chimp in it. So this is a wrench. Okay. Four inch wide tires. And I believe five inch were the best, so I think that yellow box might just be the last one, so I'm going to put our good parts away real quick before I go in there, because I don't want to risk it. Ball bearings. Uh, you know, four inches is okay. It's one lower than the best, so if we lose them and this yellow box is not five inch wide tires, I think we'll just go with it. It's fine. Because I really don't see... Oh, he's got something. Tutor one? Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Nice. Nice. We didn't even have to sacrifice it. Those are the best parts. Let's do it. Ugly go-kart, but whatever. Five inch wide tires. Get rid of these stinking four inch tires. No good. And the two to one gear ratio differential. And we're perfect. It's the best car possible. And here's a little race. It always bugs me that you never use the little pit zone for any of these races because they're just automated sequences depending on the quality of the parts that you got. And of course we won. The race and reached the rank of technician. All right, let's go on to the next level. And wouldn't you know it, it's another car. And the only difference here is that there's a bigger engine, 80 horsepower, uh, the tires are in diameters instead of thicknesses. So 12 inch diameter tires, the wheels, the ball bearings are still the best. Differential two to one still the best, but now we have a windshield and you want a curved sloping windshield. Of course, and of course blue paint. Activity here. I'm gonna see if I can catch him. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have any parts yet. All right. Uh, I'm gonna get these two free parts first. Shark decal. 65 horsepower? Nah, that's, that's not good. We need 80. Let's go up here and get going. Where are the pulleys? I wonder where they could be. And you don't need the best parts, of course, to, to win the races just within a certain margin of error. Um, since we have two of those, I'm gonna toss one. Realistically, you could toss all of them, but don't wanna get left in too sticky of a situation. Let's do this one next. The boot. Ugh. Okay. Racing D, eh, we have the shark. Shark's better. There's a lot of boxes up here at the top, though. Bananas. Oh, down and to the right from here. Easy. And then we also need the one directly underneath that other open doorway had a couple. So, electric energy, chemical energy, mechanical energy. Let's go. Away. All right, 
some metal bushings. Uh, we'll check through here before we drop down. I kind of don't want to drop down quite yet, but easy boxes. We can come back up. It's not that big a deal. And yes, I'm flipping for style. Brakes. And they're important. Oh. Okay, can't get that one. Brakes. Ooh, hello, sir. What do you have? Fuel tank. Wonderful. Alright. Heat energy. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, and technically the lightning is also heat energy. Always like the little MIDI clips that went along with these different explanations of energy. But we're on the other side too. Like there's a lot more 12 inches of diameter. Good. Let's um let's drop those off. I mean we can jump through this door as well. Because I think there was a box behind it. Two of them. Brakes. We don't really need more, but just for the sake of getting those red boxes out there so we know what to avoid or what to not we don't need to go after. 12 inches in diameter. Good. Junk those. Uh, yeah, I like the shark. Doing that. Especially when we get the blue paint. Metal bushings are bad. So, uh, gas tank. Just, just for the sake of completion. Let's gonna junk these other ones, actually. Since we already have them on the car. Flat sloping is terrible. The box is terrible. So, all right. There was nothing in here, right? I think it was just an empty room. Yeah. All right. So I kind of, I kind of want to go back to the other room just because there were so many boxes close to the top that we ran past. But we'll, we'll work our way back. That's the best. I don't need anything else, but okay. Just gotta be careful not to lose that now. I'm gonna I'm gonna run with it. This door has something. Uh, light energy, nuclear energy. wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a faucet. Uh, there we go. Okay, got one here. Blue paint. There we go. All right, let's uh, get the easy win here. Part of me wants to wait for this guy to get up here, but oh, he's going too far over there. Um, Alright, I guess we'll take it from the top over here. See what we got. A zipper. And that works with three wedges. Alright. Yeah, look at this crazy colored zipper. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, look at these things all lined up for us. Bananas. Decal. Uh, I already have the shark. Uh, the shark's still going to be better than the falcon. Two to one differential. That's much better. What we got over here? Two more boxes. Bananas. Curved sloping windshield. That's the best. Light from the sun, light from the flashlight. Light. And there we go. Alright, so I think I needed to go up one and down one. chimp though and he may be right on top of me I do not know that's right they're going different directions there we go body with a short slope fiberglass body there we go we have a couple um, parts worth saving now Yeah, shark's better than that. 80 horsepower engine, good. Still need better wheels. Ball bearings. Curved slipping windshield's the best. Uh, and we can spray paint even when we don't have a body for some reason. And there's the fiberglass body. So I think we just need wheels. Yeah. We just need wheels with ball bearings. Which actually kind of makes it harder. You gotta track down just one part. So that was lower. I need to go up above. There was a chimp there, but I'm not worried because I don't have uh, anything to lose. Funny. I don't have anything that I care about losing. Can't be clever here because the battery and light bulb are stuck. Oh, Andy's right on top of me. Oh, of course he is. Oh, Andy escaped. Oh, what a jerk. What did you take? Oh, uh, he's already gone. Oh, actually, I can catch him. I can catch him when he comes back. He didn't take anything worthwhile, but they don't always give you um, the same thing that you stole. Or that they stole from you. Let's see what you got. Paint. We don't need paint. Okay. Yeah. So he stole something from me that wasn't paint. Because um, obviously I still have both of them. But. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what he stole? Something that I didn't need, obviously. Probably brakes. Alright. Nail clippers. I don't know if I can get this. Yeah, I can't get that top lever even on a screen. There we go. Okay. Let's go through here. There's probably a few more boxes in there, but I know that this area on the bungee or the trampoline room was just rife with extra parts. Nothing in this room, I believe. But look at all those parts down there. So I need to go one over and one down. This one. Okay, they're going the same. So we need E. Oh, 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 o
come on. Definitely push them at the same time. There we go. Oh, it was the wrong one. Okay, one down from here, and then the two X's stacked on top of each other. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Gently over this one. Hop gently over this one. There we go. And that's that. And that's that. Okay. One here. Uh, it's an engine, which we don't need. Could only, could, could only get worse. Um, I actually need to go up Yeah. Could have done the lower one first because they aren't connected, but oh well. What's done is done. That one chimp stole my, my crummy wheels. <laughs> Go for it, dude. Ah, shoot. It's tricky. Tricky to do that. Got it. Oh. Another red. Another red box. So I need to jump over. If you don't, if you just do a regular hop, it, it's not enough. Yeah, it'll just jump directly onto the trampoline. All right, we got differential. I need a differential. Um, okay. Let's go over to this one. Top of the next screen down. Yep, and your teeth are fangs. A couple dead teeth there on the front. Here's some more boxes. Uh, we don't really need a decal. Just chunk it. So we need down to the left and then the two below it. So those are on the first level. Easy access. A wheelbarrow. What does a wheelbarrow look like? Oh, what's, what's off? Oh, this is off. There we go. What do we got? Brakes. Yep. Brakes. No, I, I get it, game. Yes, they're important. So are wheels. Let's see. Two, four, five on the four is 20. And we only have four, so we put them on the five to also make 20. Four wheels with ball bearings. There we go. Perfect car coming up. Oh, that one's pretty cool. I think I still like the shark. All those, we have all those. It's three to one. We already have the two to one. Wheels with ball bearings. 
and we're off to the races. Take a commanding lead. You never get to lap Morty, unfortunately. But I do think it's unfair that he gets to have access to the black paint and he has it on all his vehicles. But whatever. Alright. Technician, moving on to the fourth vehicle. Okay, so all the same parts. The only difference is that the engine's going to be bigger, 120 horsepower, and the tires are going to change back to a width. So five inch wide tires. Everything else, yeah, everything else is going to be the same. So that's it. 120 horsepower engine, five inch wide tires. You can see our, our treasures here. Trophies in the cabinet. Oh boy, so these chimps are quite a bit more dangerous. They're, they're a bit faster. They seem to be a little bit, I wouldn't say smarter, but they always seem more imposing because they have wheels rather than. So this is also where you introduce more complexity. This actually has three screens, three warehouse rooms, I guess you'd call them. Let's just go back up here and start from the top. Because that way you can always drop down when there's that kind of close up where you only see three levels at a time. Oh, too much. There we go. Oh, I saw a chimp. There he is. Since he came back so quickly, that means the other room has got to be really small. But we did get the fastest engine in the game out of him. I do like that next room over, but we're going to come back here because I've got to get that errant box on the right, which is from this room way over here. And i got to be careful because I really don't want to lose that engine. Um, when I played through this last time, it seemed as though some items I was never able to get back if they were stolen. And there's some really cheese tactics that they employ out of the chimps, because they can be right behind the door that you spawn through when you um, complete a puzzle, and there's really nothing you can do about it. So let's go over here and then drop down one, and we can kind of make our way downtown from there being extra cautious. I'm going to be careful placing those because they could attract to each other. And that'd ruin your whole day. Fuel tank. Yep, an extra one. Uh, ooh, there's quite a bit over there, actually. But I'm going to drop down just remember that door. I don't need that, but I'm going to toss the, not that one, the 110, just for the sake of it. Bananas. Differential, crummy differential. Uh, I'll go through here and get the door below it. I do want to go back. There's a the pile of parts over there. Oh, yeah. So it gives you all these extra magnets, and you just pick whichever one you want to. Some of them are tricky because they'll they'll have different amounts, and you really need to use one or the other, one over the other. And I'm sure we'll get to those in time. Come in here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Drop off the gas tank. Uh, Self-lubricating stuff. Yeah, I need ball bearings. Brakes. Big engine. 
three and a half. <laughs> Comet decal, that's cool. And that's it. Just wanted to get my attention, I guess. So it's actually the next room over. Had all those bananas. Or the, the bananas. Boxes. And I think it was over here, actually. Let's see. Uh, close. They might actually be behind this door. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of these little puzzles share elements, so the same thing could be in multiple different puzzles. Um, like this one, the puzzle pieces where you just put it together, but we saw it before when identifying the simple machines of the pulleys. Oh, that's no good. Oh well, let's drop down. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I think we've actually been down here before. Let's go in here. That's not right. There we go. Oops. Don't know what I did there. Must have hit alt or something. Okay, so I think we need to bounce up a little bit higher. Let's see what we can do here. Switch. Just make it interrupt the circuit. Here Nothing here but the two to the left. I'm sensing a trend because these are the same same sort of setup. Okay. You do that. and then I'll bounce up to the one above it. So yeah, this one, you could use either of them. So we have battery, switch, and the light bulb. And sadly, I don't think you can do, yeah, they can't overlap them like that. So we are gonna have to use wire here and here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and moving one of the components takes off all the wires that are connected to it. There we go. What we got? Ball bearings. Nice. So we need tires, body, windshield. We actually still need quite a lot of stuff. It's in here. I don't think there was anything for us, but I might as well check. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, at least we know. Pretty sure this one was empty too. Lever and an axle. Yep, nothing. Um, I don't think there was anything below it either. That's where we just dropped down two levels. So let's go over. We could try this one out. Basketball using, oh yeah, now we introduce another variable is gravity. So basketball normally is the same number of power as the hole you're going into, but now you need a little bit less. Okay, well that worked out. Four inches wide is not quite enough. Tricky to eel decal might be cool though. Okay, there 
is that guy right behind me, and I do have things worth saving. So I'm going to book it as soon as I get through this door. Try to find a safe spot, safe spot in case he comes through. Gas tank, we got the ball bearings. Dink motor, we got the differential. But why do we have the crummy differential on here? I don't want that. There we go. Yeah, I still like the comet over the electric eel, I think. Four inches wide, they're okay, they're not great. I'll put them on just in case. We need the body. Um, uh, windscreen, light, electrical, all of these, and then one trick, they don't really tell you, but since there's a cord attached to this lawnmower, it's actually an electric one, and, but you also use mechanical energy to move it. The red lawnmower that's in other puzzles is a gas one, so that's the difference. Anything? Wait. No, nothing. But there is promise over here. Shoot the boot into the hole. Oop, too much. Okay, so... Untapped lands here. Oh gosh. he was going to go up the ramp. And see, that time he did give me back exactly what he stole. It's just unfortunate that what he stole is something we don't really care about. Um, okay. I guess I guess that is fortunate that he, that he didn't steal anything we cared about. But... Yeah, that's the skateboard, obviously. Uh, what do we got? Decals. Lightning bolt. Ooh. Lightning bolt or comet. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Red paint. No, we need blue paint. Five inch white tires. That's good. And green paint. So we need blue paint. And we still need the body and the windscreen. There's quite a bit over here, though. Drop down one or go up one. I figure we'll... Yeah, since I missed that jump, I'll just go in here. Switch. Bulb. And stick it all together. What do we got? There's a windscreen, but it's not a good one. So, up two, and there is a chimp there. So, did we have something... Something that's here with the tires. Four inch white tires. I don't think so. We have the ball bearings already on there, the blue ones. And I like the color better. Five inch white tires. There we go. That's worth saving. Green paint is not blue paint. Yeah. Okay. To that point. Hey, you. Do you have anything for me? Anything worth stealing? No. Nothing worth stealing. So in here. And there is a chimp behind it. Axe is wedge. <laughs> Turquoise handled double bladed axe. Okay, what do you have? Engine. We have the best engine, so we don't need your engine. You know, I say it 
I always start with the cars, but once you get into it, you'll see, as we do later, there's blue paint, as, as we do uh, the later vehicles, it's the least, it's actually the least interesting department because all the cars are basically the same, just with higher um, speed or different tires, but in the, in the other departments, you know, there's a couple where they're kind of sequential, but most of them are, um, oh, using low gravity. Okay. Uh, most of them are pretty unique, and we'll, we'll see that when we get there. Oh, no. I'm actually going to drop down just, just for the sake of getting them all at once. Heat energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, light energy. Don't think cuckoo birds make heat or light. Just made that jump. Look at over here. Oh, really glad I made that jump. Let's see. I don't need the light bulb. I have the comment. Oh gosh. This is better than the eyes. Some of these are just terrible. Fuel tank. And we have the blue paint, which we do need to come back and uh, and spray on the body that we don't have yet. <laughs> first and we don't need more tires we have the best tires we need a body those are even worse hold on a sec i moved off window there okay. oh boy that is a uh a big switcheroo. <laughs> Switcheroony. I think this is gonna. There we go. Oh, come on. I had that. There we go. Alright, uh, where did we need to go from here? I think we needed to actually go to the try over here as well just to see just to see okay so we probably since we have even numbers of them we can pick whatever we want and then it might change the layout but we'll still get the correct design there we go kind of makes you want to pick up a whole bunch of magnets and just mess around with whatever patterns uh, you can make out of them or maybe that's just me. Maybe just, I'm the weirdo. So that doesn't go anywhere helpful. Um, I think there is a chimp guarding that door directly above us, though. Yeah, it's going to take a long, tedious time to get to that door. So I honestly don't think it's worth it. You'll notice that each one of these screens is made up of six levels. And each one of the interior ones are made up of three. And they do pass through each other, as you've probably seen already. So it's it's not difficult to see how the you know the underworkings of the game are laid out. Oh, oh, I was lucky. Let's see what we got. Decal. Get rid of the eyes. The eyes are terrible. I don't care what it is. Just flat. to the right and straight down to and that's right at the entrance to this room all right breezing through curved sloping windshield that's what we need we need body 
はい、完成。I think all the other parts, we already have the best parts of all the others. Devastating loss of a couple parts.、Uh, yellow paint, no. Blue paint, we'll spray that on even though we don't have anything to spray it on. And that's it, yeah, we, we just have our last body shaped like a rocket. What's in here? Use oil to reduce friction. That's our third element. There we go. Oh, there's, there's one more thing that gets added to this to complicate things. And it's you get three different ramps. But、uh, we'll get there when we get there. And I think there was a chimp coming after me right here. Yep. What did you steal? Or did you get something else? Flat slope, you wish it would be great. You can have that. Nothing we need.、Um, so, unless I want to go all the way and go through like four doors just to get one box, I mean, that fate would have it that that is precisely where the fiberglass body is. But let's see. So, these two that I can see from here are nothing. Let's try this one out. Probably nothing too, but we'll see. Or nothing as well. We will see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just flying in from above, okay. So down two and one to the left. Okay, so it is on the ground floor over here. Use oil. It doesn't say you to use gravity, but you can use different gravity、um, if it, unless it specifically says something else.、Yeah. What do we got? Bananas. Wonderful.、Right. So those two doors are nothing. With a, I mean, it's a body. It's not a good one, but it's a body. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Nothing. Okay, we're just gonna go through here and make our way over to the third screen just to see what we can see. I don't think we explored. Yeah, we haven't explored this one at all. Okay. Hearts are ripe for the picking over here. We just need one of them. Hopefully, hopefully it isn't the last one we find.、Uh, and if you are playing this game and you find yourself either unable or unwilling to do a certain puzzle, you can just go back and try going back through again, and it'll randomize a new puzzle for you. Um, and I, there's no shame in that. Because <laughs> there's some of these that are just tedious and just rather not deal with them. Overall, I really like the design of this game. It has kind of three sections, which are the, the warehouse platformer, these puzzles, 
which are the predominant part of it, and then the uh, assembling your car or your vehicle. And all of them are pretty good. Here we go. We already have a, the best windscreen, but whatever. We already have the best wheels, but whatever. Doesn't even matter what they are. These, there we go. So we have everything. Um, I don't even want to look at the rest of those parts. I just gotta get out of here with my fiberglass body shaped like a rocket. Because we got the blue paint as well. Uh, let's see, wooden belly. I don't want that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because we have the two to one. Oh boy. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get out of here before the chimps come by like this one. All right, perfect. Race number four coming up here. Yes. We have blue paint. I think I already sprayed it, but spray it again. There we go. All the best parts. Directly. Ooh, that came out close at the end there. Got a little better, I think. shaped uh, trophy. All right. Last one. And see, like, same thing. It's just a, a higher class of these gas-powered cars. Uh, a little bit, a little more interesting in the, in the next two. But let's see. We, everything's the same except for the tires, which are now back to 12 inches, and the engine, which is now 180 horsepower. Excellent. And everything else is the same. So let's get going. One thing I've noticed as well, and I don't know if this is just my luck or a f an actual feature, but oh, okay, steel parts I don't have. Um, but it seems as though you get different decals in the different um, different types of vehicles, and it may just be. You know, a random assortment is selected on each uh, vehicle challenge. Uh, I really don't know. Ooh, right off the bat, a pretty close to perfect, but, but not quite. Okay. Okay. Now we're just going to go up to the top to begin with. Self-lubricating bushings are not good enough. And he got a little, I don't know, bird statue or something. There we go. Yeah, I can't can't grab a magnet until it finishes its little. That's unfortunate. So I'm gonna need to drop down. So otherwise I just fall straight through the middle there. Okay. Electrical, electrical, mechanical, chemical, and batteries are chemical too. Helmet. Yeah. This is actually pretty good stuff here. So, self-lubricating bushings and uh, 
the same. Okay. So, I gotta remember to come over here. Um, I'll just drop down first. Get these two, and then we'll just pop over to it. Yellow paint. 160 horsepower engine. Trash. Okay. Now they're throwing red herrings at you. So we got electrical, got mechanical, got mechanical. Uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Just because it's on there doesn't mean it's over here. Don't have any nuclear horses. Yet. One's on the 10, so we need two on the f Yep, don't have to use all of them. All right, bananas and more bananas. Wonderful. Let's go up two. Yeah, that's gonna be a real pain to get to. Gotta go through, gotta go through that top one that we've already went through, go over back through to get the next one over. That's, that's too much. Uh, so instead, we're going to see what's in here. If we have to, we'll come back to that, but I'm really hoping we don't. We got some vice grips. So nothing up here, but down two, got a, a few blocks, a few, oh, right at the entrance, of course. Okay, we'll get those. I, mean, I don't have anything to drop off, per se, but ten, so two over here should do it. Breaks. Uh huh. I don't think we have anything that we really want to save. So, not worth dropping in there. Watermelon use high gravity. So, we need like all of it. N actually, actually, all of it. And breaks. Yep. Stars and stripes decal. That could look cool with our blue. Find the blue paint. I'll just do this one just for the sake of completion, I guess. Basketball, use sand to increase friction. So you're going to need more power. Two to one. That's good. I like that. We need this one. And there is a chimp in that room, so got to be wary of that. Ah, oh, that was close. You gonna come out again? I'm not risking junking those brakes, there's no reason to. Scales, and how are they set up? Was this one over here? Or was it over here? It's over there. Okay. There we go. And you know, since I'm next to the tube, might as well drop off the two to one. 170 is close. Real close. Yeah, I like the stars and stripes. We'll drop those off. Yellow paint, forget it. We need blue. Brakes. Junk those, then we can pick up some more yellow boxes. Two to one, keeping that, and that's it. Not really worth stopping by, but since it was already there, I'm gonna banana this guy. I'm 
engine. Do you have a big engine? 180. I'm dropping that off. Engine, for some reason, engines always get stolen from me. <laughs> Can't risk that. And he's still asleep. How cute. It seems like there's always something good over here. Use sand. There we go. Uh, not it. There is one one up though. So we can do that. Ugh. Yeah, this is, this one is kind of unpleasant. There's, there's one in particular that I always remember. It's like a whole border of, of magnets, and it's the worst. I think if we find it, I'm just going to opt out. <laughs> just because it's a waste of time. I'm just going to stick with these. Um, yep. And one there. And one there. Okay. Curved sloping windshield, that's good. like paint of some persuasion. Uh, light energy, heat energy. And I it doesn't show up, but this looks like hydroelectric. So that should be light and mechanical. one here. Flat vertical windshield. Just, just awful. Okay. Now what's our plan of attack? Because we could go over here and see what this is all about. Another one of these. The big ones only fit in particular places, and that's not one of them. Oop. Nope, I don't need that. There we go. Ooh, bunch of boxes. Fuel tank, good. Bananas, whatever. I'm never going to use 94 bananas. Okay, so nothing here, but there is one over from it. And I think I'm actually going to want to do that before, because it's going to end up in the other screen. So I'm going to try and do this level first. Or this kind of um, row. Nuclear energy, chemical. Technically, all of these are nuclear. And these two are light. All right. Bananas. Eleven inches, so close. That's tempting to run down there, but 
you know, I'm, I'm already on a wild goose chase. Let's, um, let's go back. All the way back. So, the row directly above this one is pretty right. Let's go back down here and drop down, get these. See if there's anything below it. Bananas, great. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, they're 10 inches in diameter. And there's the fiberglass body shaped like a rocket. Bunch more parts. Good. Nine. That's worse. Chunk it. What do we got? Green paint. What was that other one we picked up? Was it blue? Oh, it's good. Good. It's the blue paint. Okay. So we do want to be over here, but we want to bump up to the top row. A scissors. Okay, um, let's, let's drop off here. 170, and we have, we already have the 180, right? Yeah, we already have the 180. We need ball bearings. Don't like that one. Curved sloping windshield. Uh, blue paint. Good. Ditch the green. We'll use green for another um, another building. 11 inches is not quite good enough. Okay, we're going back in. I'm gonna grab this uh, this lonely box over here on the right first. Nothing in there. There is a there are a couple up above us though. This is where we're going to get um, all the best parts. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, so we got batteries going to the switch, switch going in the bulb, and there we go. Even have a little bit of wire left over because we're not wasteful. Decal. I got the Stars and Stripe, which is pretty good, especially for blue paint. Pinstripe could be good, but. Three to one differential. Yeah. Nope. He took something, but it probably wasn't worth anything. <sighs> well, that was terrible. Come on. Which take? Which take? Oh no. Darn it. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Stole like. Three parts off of me, jeez. Alright. I gotta go back up and get that one that I left behind for vindictive reasons. Horse is chemical. That's chemical. Everything's chemical. Shouldn't have gone after him. Oh well. How large you can't get what they steal. Oh well. Um, I think this screened one opens up into that same area. So this is interesting because you could take it a couple of different ways. Which actually means you can only take it one way. And the other one is wrong. <laughs> okay, no harm, no foul. Let's get these two and then go back up to the top. Get 
back up there. And I think it was... I think I need to go all the way over here. Oh my goodness. Well, let's have at it. And the more magnets you have stuck together, the more the less likely they are to move. So you can kind of just so you can kind of just um, drop them close, and then they'll make their way where they're supposed to be, like so. Just take. Sometimes it takes a little bit if it has to figure things out. Wonderful sound that it makes to let you know that it's trying to figure it, figure magnets out. Yep, you got it. Bud. Well, maybe you shouldn't have given me so many magnets to try to arrange into a goofy waving hand face. We get it. You're very clever. Drop this one on top. Right. It's not liking this right now. <laughs> Jeez. Try and get it as close as possible so it doesn't have to do as much. kind of the limit of what the game engine was designed to do. Alrighty. Got some more boxes here. What is that? Oh, gas tank. Don't need that. So what is it we're missing? puzzle. Got the fish and the line and the reel and everything else. Is the reel down here? There we go. There we go. Four wheels with ball bearings. So now we need... We, got, we have the body, I think, don't we? Wedges, a first class lever, and two third class levers. Let's see if those are close enough. Return into the entrance a bit quicker. And we'll drop those off. Or that. I don't know if there was more than one thing we needed to do. There's ball bearings. Three to one. We already have the two to one, I think. So we, yeah, we just need the tires, 12 inch diameter tires. So that one uh, chimp did steal the, I think 
we had 11 inch ones? That's okay. Okay, up to... This one. So we need to make 10 and do... Let's see... 9 and 10. There's one differential, but we have the two to one, so we don't really need it. It's going to be four to one, not three and a half. And... Oh. It's a truck. It's a uh, cat. So we got one goofball lever here. And two here. Probably got one of those wrong. This one's up here. And this one's down here. Nope. I don't really see where the fulcrums are on these. Okay. Differential. Another. This is going to be the four to one. So I'm going to take it just to chunk it. Okay. Well, we need to find those tires. I don't think we're going to. We're going to have to go to the other screen. Ah, there's nothing left over here. Unless there's anything behind this door. Uh, pulley. Let's drop that down a bit. Make room for that. Alright. Yeah, nothing here. There's a doorway on the side that we can jump through. Yep. So let's try all the way over here. There might be something for us. Basketball, use the red ramp. Okay. First try. Oh shoot, oh no. You didn't take anything useful though. Let's go over here. Go to the next room over. At least this one's pretty fast. We don't have too many rotations to do. Actually, I don't think we need to do any rotations. I got a little, got a little off kilter there. I think we are going to have to go all the way up to the top left here. That requires going through a bunch of puzzles. 
That's okay. We'll take him out. So we need to go here. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, and then through here. And we gotta come out the other side. Use the yellow ramp. So it's gonna need more energy. Ooh, what's going on? Come on, window. Let's use the oil. There we go. What you got? Self lubricating bushings. Oh, we already have ball bearings. We don't need that. We just need the tires. Yep, this one looks just as much fun as the last one. to rotate these so that they're repelling the body so it's not it, it's probably far enough away that it won't drag it in but just in case I don't want, I don't want that nonsense it's Magno Man Magneto okay and through the last door just for one lousy box. It better be worth it. Come on. There we go. What are you going to be? Wheels. Really? Wheels that we don't need? Okay. We have all bearings. Alright, well, it looks like down in the middle there is really the only place we have to go. Or we could start hunting. What do you got? Rewire the circuit to run the light bulb using both batteries, the bulb, and the switch. Oh. You connected the negative to the negative, or the positive to the positive. Dum dum. Ooh. What do you have? Decals. And a body. We don't need a body. What is in here? Oh boy. Okay, so this will be interesting. If I get one of these right, that's correct. This means I need two more. There we go. Got a crazy machine. Okay, so... This door is useless. This door is useless. Thank you. 
blue paint. Don't need any of that. If they're all asleep together, though. <laughs> all right, let's uh, leap up. Let's see if there's anything else that we. Well, I guess there's quite a bit over here that we haven't explored. Rewire to turn on both bulbs, right? Yeah. Turn on both bulbs. There we go. Enjoy your two, your light bulb, or your two light bulbs. Yeah, there's a few more here. I'm gonna steal from this guy first, though, if he has anything. No. Okay, so... Let's go up here. And see what we can find. Uh, shoot the beach ball in the flashing hole. Too much. Brakes. Okay. Mm and a gas tank. Fuel tank. Not necessarily gasoline. Okay. Down to and over to the right. Might be something. Watermelon. Use oil. I'm gonna say like six. Nope, seven. All seven. Okay. It's a body. I don't need a body. I need tires. Okay, okay. hand and is lifting weights. I always wondered where did the dumbbell come from? That wasn't part of the puzzle and just got thrown in there afterwards. No, that's not good. Up to though. Okay, you need to make 16. Okay. Here we go. Come on, tires. That is not tires. Okay. I'd even take the 11 inches back at this point. Don't think anything's behind here either. That's not right. We're just gonna have to use all these guys. There we go. It's down the hole. <laughs> Probably nothing I need. Oh, there we go. These guys are right on top of each other. Chemical energy. Hey, look, it's, it's our dude. Yeah, it's our dude punching a little um, weeble wobble. Is that mechanical too? No, no. Sure. 
Okay. Nice job, dumb shoes. Second. Sorry about that. I had a little tickle in my throat. Uh, nothing. Of course. Of course it's nothing. Anything in here? Now I'm just grasping at straws. Shoot any object using sand. Four, three, four. Right, of course. At this point, maybe I should just go up and pick all my, um, all the red boxes, because I think there was one set of tires that was either junked or stolen. Doki, I'm gonna put that there, put that there, and that there. Nothing. Just a dead end. Yeah, this is one of those that's just going to take way too long. I'm actually going to see if it's even worth going in there. It's to the right. Oh, I can't tell. Let's, let's, let's find a better puzzle. Five on three. Again, it's, they're, not, they're not difficult challenging per se it's just tedious i love the game but there are moments like that i i think we need to go hunting so he's gonna come up here no matter unless he jumps over the vent like he just did I mean, this is, this is the, the keystone race of the um, automotive department, so. This puzzle in particular, just have to brute force it because these inclined planes are so close together. You just have to keep going at it. Like, there's one here. There's one here. There's one in the middle there. It is. Um, right. So those two directly above us go nowhere. The one over there on the right is. Oh, we don't know where that one goes. That one could go somewhere.
mechanical energy and the clocks and the lifting things and the chemical in that. One of the chimps. He does not look at all like a chimp. He looks like a spherical duck. But whatever. Anything. Mm, of course not. Okay. Well. Hmm. There's really nowhere else to check. There really, there really is. Like all these doors, we know exactly where they lead, and they lead nowhere. So I'm gonna check this last door here. See, see at least from here if it goes anywhere. No, it doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, so the 12 inch tires either one of the chimps has them or they just don't exist in this level. So we're just gonna go with the 11 inches. And that'll be good enough. It's, it's kind of sad to end off that way, but. That's the worst thing that happens. We're doing pretty good. One more left. to doctor okay and that's the end so you no, can't go to the next level anymore you have to go back to the tech center and pick a new building so yeah finished looking at all those nice blue cars lined up that all match they're all shaped like rockets perfect and um, yeah I think going to, uh, to shut it down here and we'll pick up this stream on the next one. Uh, right here we're probably going to go, as I usually do, is go to the aircraft and then finish off with the alternative energy. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a nice evening or night or morning, wherever you are. I'll see you later.